Hey, yo, what is going down with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and of course, as always, the talk is Jinky Kamoy's out there, this is Mr. Nintendo's only free twin love, and aka Mania Warrior, and of course, you guys are intros, intros and outros on the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff, and today, friends, we are, I heard, of the, heard about this little, like, mini article here from Nintendo Life's channel, shout out to them, it's gonna be a really quick, maybe five, six minute video, and uh, a little bit of nostalgic, um, mentally, Nostalgic tears might be shed in this channel, but shout out to Nintendo Life. Um, I've been doing a lot of like um article reviews on those guys lately. I don't know why, but I don't know, because they're Nintendo fans, I think, I guess. Oh, and then the other guy, what was his name? Something Owley. Alex Owley, I think is supposed to be his name. It's a really, really funny British UK guy. I forget his name. I can find a picture of him here. He's probably somewhere here, but um, yeah, he's got to be somewhere around here. But anyways, I'll leave the link in description box down below to our channel, whatever, if you want to check their stuff out. I'll talk about that in a minute. But <laughs> So we got it from Leon Dulan, Liam Dunan. So shout out to him for making this article. It says, Ken Sugimori wants Pokemon designs to be as memorable as possible. I know this is about two weeks ago. It's from last month, July 28th. So might be a little late to this um, video, but I still wanted to talk about it anyways. And not really video, more like an article review of a certain person that does this stuff. But anyways, so it says Ken Sugimori, best known as a character designer, <coughs> excuse me, an art designer, an art director of Pokemon, has been around since the inception of the franchise. In a translation provided by the Silica Arena recently, talented, the talented and <coughs> artist discussed the Pokemon designs had to be memorable, with cool designs of often falling to achieve this I often this is like his um, words from his mouth Mr. Ken Sugimori the great god legend man himself if it wasn't for him all the Pokemon probably wouldn't exist I know there's a couple artists, other artists besides Ken Sugimori that did official Pokemon fan art or official licensed fan art from Nintendo like you know um, the ones for the TCG and the manga and all that as well but mainly those the anime and video games are a lot more important just saying just putting it out there <laughs> this is I often tell members in charge of designs to, quote, take away from designs that are too cool, unquote. But that's probably a sentimental that is a difficult grasp. What's cool and what's not is all subjected in the end. To put it extremely, my job, my job is to, that might have been like, to put it extreme, it's not extremely. I know somebody did a typo there. I'm just saying, guys, in Nintendo Life, you got to get your act right. So it says, my job is to get something that would look cooler. If it didn't have this or that on it, then to put it on purpose laughs. Basically, it looks too cool and takes away from what it makes it memorable for players. It simply ends that quote, that's cool, unquote. After all, Pokemon that are being sent out into the world, we want them to always remain memorable. However, I feel that <clears throat> in order to do so, you have to add an old touch to it. All right, so yeah. Makes a lot of good sense for my man. So Sasuke Mori also believes about finding the right place and balance. Again, making the references designs that might make it look cool. He'll often find it <clears throat> find this balance by adding quote something uncool to a Pokemon that is too cool or might be cheerful, be a cheerful feature for the Pokemon with a more serious tone. And it's a little bit more of an article like. No, not article, but like a little bit of like a memorable quote from this man, I guess, if you want to call that. So it says, look at Ashwa's cheeks. It has three freckles on it. And if you take them away, Ashwa becomes cuter. However, if I take him away, it makes his face less memorable. Actually, a lot of people that told me, I quote, I want you to get rid of the freckles, unquote. But I strongly insist that it is better to have them. Going by my standards, that that is the correct way to design a, design a Pokemon. Are you a fan of Ken's work? Would you prefer extremely cool or cute Pokemon? Tell, tell us below. And overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Have any people don't know who Mr. Ken Sugimori was? He's just important in this man. Mr. Pokemon's president CEO will regain. It says something else. I don't know what it says, but extremely important. I think it was, it wasn't Satoshi Jujiro, it was another dude. Something Orakawe. Actually, you know, I'm going to Google on my phone really quick. That way I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna do it real quick. Hold on one second, friends, because let's see. Pokemon president original name. It's gotta be somewhere. Images. 
I'm, I apologize, it might take a little bit of a while. I'm gonna have to like type it because it's not working. Oh, it's this guy right here. Oh, that's what his name was. Mr. Ishihara. Tazuna Nika Ishihara. That's the dude's name. I know he was one of the CEO, like, second presidents. He even said it here on Bloomberg. It says there's one last noteworthy expert. The Bloomberg interview for Fogon CEO. Tazuna Ishihara. That's what that name was. Okay. All right. And then the CEO is Shintoro Furuhaka. He is already president and CEO now. So <laughs> he just did it like the end of last month in July. That's a whole other different can of worms. Overall thoughts and opinions. If you don't know Mr. Kensuke Mui's original work, you haven't looked at all these old school Pokemon. If any of you guys were born before like <laughs> the 80s or even the 90s, <clears throat> or if you were born during that time of the 80s and 90s, you know what the hell Pokemon was, especially the 90s. Okay, granted, I was born in 89, but still. I was mainly a 90s kid nonetheless. Look at this old school fan worker. I know some of this is fake. I know these ones are here are like fan art. And this one was the original one. That's the original one. And there's some people that even did like Gen 6 and Gen 7 to old school like that. Because <laughs> I know Gen 1, 2, and then half of Gen 3, I know is all originally Ken Sugimori's old school artwork. If any people have the physical book guides like I do up to Gen 5, you know that. Gen 6 and 7, I still never got the physical copy of those things. Like these two are my all time favorite. Even though Granite Charizard was my favorite Pokemon, he was one of the coolest ass looking ones ever. I remember in a TCG, he used to have this for the base of Jungle and Fossil. He brought so many tears to my damn eyes every time I opened them. And it was like so many wonderful, beautiful memories I had of this. There's a couple ones like Ditto was a really cool one, and Venusaur I loved. And he even did like <laughs> for the newer ones, like for Gen 5 and 7, like he did an old school one for Zekrom and Decidueye. And they're from the Univan, like, um, Lola version. There's a whole other thing. This one was a real one right here. I totally remember this being a real thing. Uh, other than that, that's all I got to say, people. Another overall thoughts using Penny. If he wants to keep the franchises alive, make sure you get the TCG intact and the manga series. You know, in Japan, I think the manga series is a lot more popular than it is in the United States. Because I think here in America, no, I think they only got, got up to Gen 2, and that was it. Because after that, I think Gen 3 and up. I think a lot of the manga Japanese series only stood in Japan, which kind of sucks. I really wish it would have kept going here, but it is what it is. Anyways, friends, that's all I got to say for now. Um, Definitely thank this guy, because I remember Goldurk and Golet from Gen 5, Black, White 1 and 2. He was originally made by some dude from the United States or Canada, and he was a professional artist, and he ended up getting hired for Pokemon when Black, White 1 and 2 were still a big thing. He's the one that created Goldurk's and Golet's design. If any people don't know what that is, <laughs> I actually even put it in here. Let's see, Golurk and Golat. I know he was originally um from somewhere else. I don't know if I can get it or not. All right, yeah, that's the one. This is the one actually was made by a white American dude, and that's pretty freaking wild. I should, maybe I should put did not design. Maybe it'll come up because that's pretty freaking wild. That, that originally was one of the first Pokemon that he didn't create. And it was from dude, let alone someone out from the United States. Because I think Gen 5 and 6 were not based in Japan. I think it was this guy right here. This guy right here is the one that created it. And he did a couple other designs too. I didn't know that. Holy crap. Okay. So he made the Vanilla Evolution. Angola and Golurk, Bullaby Mandibus, which is our, my all-time favorites right here. He created my two from Black, White, one and two's favorites in that generation. I absolutely love them very much, besides them being dark types. And then Phantom and Trevenant for Gen 6. James Turner. Okay, this is who it was. So, granted, I know Ken Sugimori is a pretty much super legend, but, I mean, James Turner, he did some pretty good-ass designs for Gen 5 and 6 as well. Not bad. I don't know if he did any for Gen 7, but it is what it is if he didn't. And with that being said, that's all I gotta say. I'm done with the nostalgia clip and I'm out of here. And I'll leave the link to Nintendo Life's um, official YouTube channel below. Alright, take it easy, guys. Peace to hell's out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And of course, as always, the Takazuniki Komori's out there. I will see you when I see you guys today. Have a good night wherever you are out around the world out there. Don't forget to come away at the same time. Don't think they're reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it alive out there. 
And as always, stay tuned for future articles and reviews, such as... <clears throat> Excuse me, let me take a drink real quick. Ah, that's better. Video game, um, video game news, anime manga news, and of course, <clears throat> internet news. And once the timer comes around the corner, more outdoor chat and breeze vlog video contents that I will do and post in the future next month. Once the timer rolls around the corner next month, and that's it. Peace out, my sauerkraut. Stay safe. Late and goodbye. We'll see you all on the flip side. Take it easy. I'm gone. I'm out. And I'll see you on the future videos. Take care, everyone. And um. Uh, Keep making more content. Keep more when Gen 8 comes or Gen 4 Diamond Pro remakes come. I'll be even happier. Ladies and goodbye. I'm out of here. And please finally release Arrow.